Okay, happy Monday. I'm sure I'm going to be uploading this today, tomorrow. I'm not sure. I'll show you what's in my bag today. Um, if you follow me, you know that for Christmas I got myself a bag. And if you do follow me deeper, you all, you all know that I'm a bag lady. Okay, I love bags. Like, ever since even when I was, like, Riley's age. Like, I was on my bag game. I love it. And I like to get bags at deep discount for free um, thrifting, whatever. So I typically do not spend anywhere over $20, $25 over a bag, and I have tons of them, and I love it. So what I typically do, if I get a bag, I actually give away two, three bags in return because I don't want to be a bag hoarder where I have tons and tons of bags. Like, I'm not that girl. So I got a bag for myself for Christmas, and in return, I gave away two bags, and I actually have two bags kind of in queue um, because I one bag was given to me, so I want to give it back to the girl. I don't want to just give it away to a, to Goodwill or whatever. And I have another bag that I'm kind of thinking about whether I should give away. So this bag is going to cost me anywhere from two to four bags given out the door, and that I mean out the door. Sorry, and I, I'm okay with that. Totally okay with that because I don't want to be a big hoarder. So, anyways, I got this bag for Christmas, um, and it's from Target. Um, and like I said, I don't spend over twenty five dollars with this bag. I spent thirty six dollars on it, and in my opinion, it is kind of expensive for me. Now, you guys are laughing because I'm not getting Balenciagas or Coaches or Louis Vuitton where they're like eight thousand, eight hundred, a thousand, twelve hundred. Okay, yeah, no. I don't roll like that right now, so I get my bags a lot more inexpensive, but they do the job for me. So I, I'm a fan of black and gold. I actually have another bag that is much bigger that is also black and gold, so I really, really, really like black and gold. Just give you a very, very short, short story, because I don't want this really, bleh, video to be a million minutes long, and I feel like it already is going to be, but whatever. Anyways, I lived in New York for six years, and I started out with having bigger bags. Now, New York, of course, you have your shoes in your bag, you have, you know, change of clothes, you have your books, you have your wallet, you have your lotion, and da 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 a whole bunch of stuff, but what I was finding that my bag was just way too heavy to go up and down those subway stairs, right? So I started to size down. So now a lot of my bags are like this size or maybe like a medium size. They're not huge duckle bags or around this any. thing. And I find that you can actually carry a lot, a lot in here. So this is my bag that I got for Christmas. In the front pocket right here, all I have in it is a pack of gum and some mints, okay? Um, I constantly, constantly am using those things, okay? Okay, as we open it up, I'm just going to show you quickly what the inside looks like, okay? All right. All right. So on this back pocket here, there's a pocket on the inside. I have another pouch. You guys are going to think I'm obsessed, but there are actually <laughs> more mints and more um of these halls cough drop thingy can you see it okay because um i have been like off and on kind of coughing off and on um uh, for like last month um i'm doing a whole lot better but you know especially i do a lot of singing at church and um talking and all that stuff so i just need mint so i carry that with me so that's in there Okay, right now I actually have a receipt <laughs> and uh, a doctor's appointment card for Riley. Okay, okay, so now in the actual main compartment of this purse, and as you see, there's not a whole lot in there. I have this thing, and I just actually got this little case. So I have a little thing, I have like a little obsession with pouches. I have a lot of pouches, I just totally admit it. Um, and I have like a mini obsession with pouches. I just love them. I think they're so pretty. So I got this from Target and it was on sale for six bucks or like six sixty two or something. I don't even know. Whatever. And on the inside, I carry all things that I just know like, okay, so for instance, this is actually painkillers and this is actually not what's in there, but I just filled it with, um, some other acet acetaminophen. Okay. Um, lip gloss and I have that on right now it's like a, just a nice lip gloss I have a couple lip products which is yeah 
and I have this, I think it's called NYX, N-Y-X, okay, and I have this Lip Glow Sheer Gloss Balm, it's like a lip balm, I got it from Five Below, anyways, and then I have a mirror, and then I have some bobby pins, y'all, okay, and then what I usually actually have is um, like a, an, um, like feminine products in there too, but I don't have it in there right now. Okay, and then I just have my wallet. Now, I absolutely love this wallet, guys. It was from Walmart for like $4, and I actually um, got this wallet when I was traveling in the summer because I knew that I was going to have a smaller purse, and I didn't want a big, bulky wallet, so I sized down to something like this, and I haven't changed out of it. It's January, and I haven't changed down to it because I love it. It carries exactly what I need. It has a little change which I have no changes there right now, but it has like a little change area. You can put, um, okay, let me just cover up my ID. You can put like, you know, your your money inside here. Oh, I have $5. Ooh, I didn't know I had that there. And then I have like, you know, my medical information, Riley's medical stuff. I have my debit cards and I have my ID in there as well. So I have everything ready to go in there and it's perfect. It's not bulky. It's just wonderful okay and then all I have is my lotion and this was actually a big lotion that I squeezed and put into there obviously and then um, I have um, my house keys in the bottom here because um, I always keep it with me because I actually just lost a set of them I had to make a new one because I keep losing them so I put it to my hand sanitizer so that I know I don't lose them because I always lose them. And then um, I have my little case that I actually put my glasses in typically, and it's in there, and it's actually, it actually sets really nicely down into one of these holders. And then typically what I do is have my phone in one of that too, and it's nice and deep. It's, it fits right in there, and I just have a few pens, choice pens, that I just keep with me, and I'm saying right now, I'm going to say it loud and proud, I am obsessed with Paper Mate flares. I love these, so, so much so that I have Sharpies that I keep with me, and you're going to see that in a little bit, and I don't really use them anymore because these are the bomb.com. So I have black, navy blue, and pink with me, but I have other colors, and I have an erasable pen as well. Okay. And guys, guys, that's all that goes with me in my purse. And I figured that I don't need anything else to go inside here. And to be honest, there's tons of room to just do even more. And, and there's pockets on the side that I don't put anything in. Um, and that's it. I think it's just quite lovely. When I go to church, um, I usually carry like a separate bag. And the reason being is because I have a Bible that I carry. I have my notebooks and I have some other pens that I carry. And... Um, and so I use Literally. this little bag, and I switch this bag out a lot. Like, I do different kinds of bags, and I, but I think this one works. Now it looks crazy and haphazard, but it actually zips up fine. It's, like, really strong, and I've had this bag for years. I got it somewhere in New York. Um, but, look, it is really strong. And inside of it, I actually carry my planner. To be honest, I always, I don't always need my planner when I'm at church, but I have been carrying it lately um, because I'm about to be in another planning session for my the play that's coming up for Easter, so I am carrying it with me. Yes, baby, probably. Yeah. And so that's what I carry, and then I also have my Bible. So this is my Bible case, and inside um, is the Bible. And then I have um, some notes that I carry, like a notebook thing. And then I also have another stack of pens. So I'm a tiny bit obsessed with pens. But like I said, I think I'm going to be taking out these Sharpies because I really um, don't use them, okay? Because they bleed through, guys. They're lovely pens, but I don't use them. So I'm looking at my pen game right now, and I'm like, I think I can, um, I think I can uh, bring this down. I also have a pack of thank you notes. You never know when you're going to need them, honestly. I think they're just lovely. 
to carry. Okay, and then I also have a small, see again, I have a small little case that has a um, highlighter, some uh, pair of scissors, white out, um, these like little page flags, some paper clips, and a glue stick. You never know. On the inside, I also have my daughter's Bible. She takes with, I put it in my bag so that she has it with her when she goes to church. And I have like miscellaneous things in here that probably should just be cleaned out. Like I have like some paper. So, <sighs> rambly way to explain what is in my bag, guys. What is in my bag? If you have any questions, ask them below. See you guys later. Bye.